The battle over Idaho's abortion laws are working through the federal and state Supreme Court system. You may remember the United States Department of Justice filing a lawsuit against Idaho back in August. The DOJ says that Idaho's laws violate the Emergency Medical Treatment and Labor Act. You might have heard this referred to as EMTALA. But now another organization is filing a lawsuit of their own and for very different reasons. It's the Satanic Temple, and they say that Idaho's abortion laws violate their religion and other rights protected under the Constitution. Here's our Andrew Bartline. A church of nearly one and a half million worldwide, represented through 3,500 in the gem state. Rowan Astra. Uh, absolutely, in intrinsic. Is a devout follower, but her church likely runs contrary to the one in your neighborhood. I consider myself deeply religious in this matter. I'm just a Satanist. <laughs> you understand calling yourself a Satanist probably isn't winning a lot of people over. Yeah, it, it's not a it's not necessarily a popular label, but it's the one that resonates. Not as a literal character or higher power from the Bible, Rowan says the Satanic Temple looks to Satan as a symbol. He's a figure of justice against again tyrannical authority that is God. Tyrannical authority, what do you mean by that? Um, so for me, in my personal context, that would mean Christian theocracy. Not Christianity, but people who want to uh, assert their Christianity on others via legislation. So a lot of these laws in Idaho, would you say those align with that, that people are legislating their religion? Unfortunately, yes. Idaho's abortion laws restrict most abortion except for the case of rape or incest. The Satanic Temple filed a federal lawsuit against the state of Idaho in response. The lawsuit claims Idaho's laws violate the 5th, 13th, and 14th Amendments, along with Idaho's Exercise of Religious Freedom Act. The religious freedom in America protects all sorts of religions. Eugene uh, Volokh is a law uh, professor at UCLA. Ones? He says the Satanic Temple's arguments are valid, like any other religion. But the temple has to prove their motivation is strictly religious. Religious claims don't have to make sense in any logical sense, nor do they have to be easily linked to Holy Scripture. It doesn't have to be reasonable, so long as it's sincerely believed. The lawsuit focuses on the satanic abortion ritual. The ritual claims a person's body is their body alone. No one else can make a decision for another person's body. The 13th Amendment does not ban all required work. It doesn't ban the draft. It doesn't ban jury duty, where you're also required to labor, albeit for shorter times. It doesn't ban requiring people to show up in court as witnesses, for example. Uh, it bans those things that have historically been understood as slavery or something like that. So you're not buying that? That 13th Amendment one you don't think is too strong of an argument? Well, I, I'm not buying it, but more importantly, I don't think courts will buy it. But Rowan is hopeful hopeful that the lawsuit will be successful, of course, and I'm hoping that Idahoans will regain their rights to bodily autonomy in regards to reproductive health care. Two other claims in the lawsuit focus on the 5th and 14th Amendments, and these arguments are similar to that 13th Amendment, where it's kind of a secular argument, and they say restricting abortion or forcing a woman to go through an unwanted pregnancy violates property rights. Further, the lawsuit alleges allowing a woman who is raped to have an abortion, and not a woman who got pregnant by accident. They say that's discriminatory. So, Joe, they're saying that violates the Equal Protections Clause of the 14th Amendment. So there are secular arguments in this on what would otherwise be classified as a religious organization. Now, I'm curious, you mentioned that you know they, they filed a lawsuit here in Idaho. This is a, a, a nationwide and really a worldwide religion. Is this being just filed in Idaho or has this been filed in other places where abortion laws have recently changed? I don't know what the list is to its entirety. I believe Indiana has a lawsuit there as well on behalf of the Satanic Temple against the state. Um, so Idaho is not the only place. Uh, as terms of a, a complete list, we're not positive right now, but Idaho is not the only one. It'll be interesting because I know that online when Roe v. Wade uh, was effectively reversed with the Dobbs-Jackson decision. There was a lot of comments in line. Well, we, we can't wait to hear if a different religion will file some type of a, a violation of their First Amendment rights in a court. So I guess this is what some were waiting for, but it'll be interesting as you highlight in your story how this plays out. Yeah, and the Satanic Temple is not the only religion as well in, in different states and different places. So they're not alone in this. And of course, we know the Department of Justice has that lawsuit in Idaho as well. Okay, well, we got a whole collection of uh, lawsuits at the federal and Supreme Court level here in Idaho. 
Idaho. The Supreme Court actually on Thursday. They'll start looking at the Idaho abortion laws again, so we'll keep everybody updated. But for now, Andrew Bartline reporting. Thank you, Andrew.